in an attempt to get back onto a regular schedule instead of letting two and a half months pass in between videos, we're gonna go ahead and make this. I'm gonna show you how to make the master, make the mold, and then uh, the first casting, and then final assembly of the toy. So, thank you for joining us, and uh, be sure to do all the things. Let's do that shit. In my last video, Let's Make a Dildo, I talked about and shown how to make a glove mold. In this video, I'm going to be making a two-part block mold. Just like any mold, you're going to need a master. I use a two-part urethane resin, which is measured by weight, so you're gonna need a scale to use this stuff. I do like to tint my masters because it helps me see if there's any chip out or anything I need to address and ooh. and now my professional grade uh, master mold blank just some PVC and a lot of hot melt glue and then it's time to go into the pressure pot and then we have to wait four hours See? Oh, look at that. Time traveling. What a thing. And now we turn it. This stuff makes a hell of a lot of mess. And uh, you'll notice that this is a TikTok video that I removed the music from. But if you're not following us on TikTok, what the hell are you doing with your life? This is all process, pretty gratifying to uh, kind of behold. Go ahead and cut that bad boy free, and yeah, I'm pretty. Oh, yeah, yeah, Just polish that shit. Oh, polish that knob, oh, yeah. Pure man strength here. Oh, yeah. I told you that's messy, and that's not even all of the mess. I use a technique with the mold that uh, I'd actually learned from watching The Craftsman. Link in the description. A lot of people will take clay and kind of do a bed of clay and put the master in it, pour the silicone, and then flip it over, remove the clay, and pour the second part. Well, this one technique that the craftsman used is he actually just kind of screwed it onto the mold box so it was suspended. And as I put the sticker on, the eye comes off. It's okay, I can get back on, but that little corner is a little derpy and uh, nah, screw it, it kind of adds to the uh, uniqueness of our products so every one of those handles has a derpy penguin on it just using some mold star it's so pretty once the two colors blend i always give a little mix with the spatula just to be on the safe side i get all the sides and bottom and then off to the uh, vacuum chamber oh yeah that's gratifying and that lid is so dirty we're definitely going to need to clean it. It's on the uh, to-do list. Then you just find one spot to pour and uh, let it find its own way. All right, now we got to prep it for the second pour. Cutting boards are your best friends. That's what this mold box is made out of. It's absolutely great. Now the thing with this technique is that when you use the clay to make your bed and put it in, you can actually put 
objects to make registration marks, but in this, I have to carve out what's gonna be the registration mark, which works pretty well. And then just apply a little bit of Vaseline to the entire surface and make the second pour. Look at that little mess there. Oh, I'm a professional, aren't I? And then we go ahead and uh, let that bad boy set up for a couple of hours. And now we demold again. Lots of screws, overkill. It's needed. It is definitely needed. Oh. Oh, last one. Oh, and then this part's so gratifying. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Not only is Miss Penguin the most beautiful, lovely assistant that I could ever have, but she's also very helpful in the process of everything that is Penguin After Dark. So we had her go ahead and do the first casting into the new mold and uh, she does quite an excellent job of it I may say. Oh, I gotta put that hair up, oh yeah. When you put the rubber bands on mold you don't want to double it over because that will actually create too much pressure and can cause the sides to split. Oops. And then overkill with a million different rubber bands. Again, we're doing a urethane resin. It's a two part. Now it's part B. Yeah. That meant that she got it right on the, uh, the grams. And of course we have to do our colors. A little purple little black and yellow, but those will be in the uh, the other part of the toy. Mix that bad boy up, and then off to the pre yep, off to the pressure chamber. Oh look, there's Ginger. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, a little cream pie action there. Oh. Now we demold, and it's time for the first casting to be revealed. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. It looks so pretty. Of course, we gotta drill a lanyard hole in it. And what we have to do, because there's flashing from any two-part mold, it's basically the line where the two parts meet. Um, the way that I found that works for us is we just go ahead and wet sand it again. And then we go ahead and use a polishing compound and then we actually use a polish on it to help bring back that shine. And now we're going to make the mace ball. I didn't feel it was necessary to show you all the footage of pouring the fucking silicone because that that's kind of boring, but we'll just pick up where it goes into the vacuum chamber because I like to not be redundant, 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 redundant. Once again, back into the vacuum chamber and uh, yeah, the lid still isn't clean. But we got these little candle making molds for these spheres. And they've been pretty amazing. The little swivel chains, these are generally used for uh, nunchucks. And I just completely submerge the entire other part because it helps lock everything around the, the hardware. Do a little trimming up of all the flashing and excess and oh uh, yeah. That looks like a little nebula space thing going on there. Assembly I'll use a two-part epoxy to glue the hardware onto the post of the handle. It's just a little bit of overkill that I like to do and uh, the hardware comes with these little pins that you can put in to hold them to you know whatever your handle is going to be but I prefer to drill a hole all the way through and use stainless steel nut and bolts. Thank you for joining us, and uh, I hope you enjoyed yourself, you little voyeurs, watching me 
do my thing because I certainly enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's this guy, our mace. We've already done a couple of other castings. These are our mic drops. Look at that. And then probably call this one like disco era or something. Pure gold, baby. So thank you for watching and uh, we should be having another video back on schedule, hopefully. And uh, yeah, until next time.